hello everybody and welcome back to my channel what's up what's up what's up um as you can tell this is not going to be a hair tutorial nor is it going to be a nail tutorial this is about my journey with diverticulitis um which is a infection in your colon which no one knows where it comes from or what starts it or how you get it but um on february the no it started on like january the 29th um i went to the emergency room because i was having really bad pain in my stomach um and i was admitted into the hospital they told me that i had diverticulitis which i had never heard of um and they just said all I just needed was some um, antibiotics and it was going to clear up and um, stay away from gluten. Okay, so I was admitted into the hospital and on February the 5th, it had not got better and I had a CT scan and it actually had traveled from my right side to my left side of my colon. So at that point the doctors decided that they needed to move in and go ahead and do um, what's called a colon resectomy, which is basically taking half of my colon out. So they went ahead with that process and along the way, what was supposed to be a two hour surgery ended up being like a four and a half, almost five hour surgery because um, along with the colon resectomy, they had to um, give me a colostomy bag, which is not permanent. It's only temporary. I'm only supposed to have it for five months. Um, and also, my appendix ruptured while they were doing their procedure. So, all of that was going on. So, now here it is, March the 29th. And I had the surgery on February the 7th, technically. Um, and I am in a nursing home for recovery because I live by myself and I'm unable to clean my wound. Um, I had to come to a nursing home so that they can do my wound care every morning. And also the colostomy bag um, because of my history my background with nursing I know how to change a colostomy bag but by it being on me in a weird spot it's hard for me to do it myself but um, following this video is going to be a slideshow of my I guess journey through it up until now and basically like if you're having stomach pains please 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 go to the emergency room because you never know what it could be um i never in a million years thought that a little stomach pain would end me up in surgery but <laughs> a month and a half later and this is where i am so um maybe this can help someone i don't know but i just wanted to tell my story um so yeah stay tuned following this i'm gonna go right into a slideshow <laughs> of my progress um please if you're under 18 do not look at it because it is going to be um pictures of my scar so it may gross you out if you have a weak stomach so don't watch it if you have a weak stomach thank you for watching please continue to watch like subscribe and comment if you have any questions. Bye. <laughs>